Wake up, people! It's just another day in the neighborhood. Kids out playing, cops being stupid. Look at the speeds and what they do to this car in a neighborhood with no regard for any public safety whatsoever. Outrageous pursuit. Earn it a hate! Welcome to another episode of Earning the Hate. So the police chasing somebody, multiple cars, passing on the right, taking phone calls. The warrant is, I think, out of Texas for running from the police. So we're going to try and kill everyone on the road because he ran from the police somewhere else. So we'll just kill everybody. So here's the guy they're trying to box in right now. Suspect, police, police. And he goes around them. Shocking. They used to kill me when cops couldn't box a car in. When you box a car in, you have to take away his go around you exits. Otherwise, guess what's going to happen? He's going to go around you. Shocking. So right here, I've noticed some smoking or something right here. So I don't know if they did some damage. So they're not calling out the speeds real well. And the dash cam here isn't showing the speed. I'm telling you, they're over 100. A lot. Okay, so at least there's no cars around here when they try to pit him, but this is just a ram. This right here, what he just did, is considered deadly force. Unless you can shoot and kill a guy right now, and deadly force is authorized, what this cop did is deadly force. At these speeds, trying to pit somebody, the likelihood of serious bodily injury and or death is deadly force. No problem. So, now of course they're going to say, oh, he tried to kill an officer. Yeah, you didn't try to pit him, you just rammed him, which I'm not sure what the purpose is. You guys got freaking bumpers on there like you're in freaking... So is this guy driving like a maniac? Yes. Is he a danger? Yes. Are the 14 cops driving worse than him? Because remember, if I have to stay up with a guy driving crazy... I got to drive more crazy. I can't stay up with him if I do exactly the same thing because of traffic center. I have to go faster to catch up and to stay up with him. So who is the biggest danger to the public? This is why when some idiot comes here and goes, man, when police write tickets, they're doing a public service. They're trying to keep you safe. They don't care about keeping you safe. I think it's a 35 mile an hour zone. 35. Who thinks this guy's going 70? Double. Who thinks he's going 80 or 90? Of course he is. He said speed's 90. That means he's going faster. Through intersections. Cars that may not know. He's coming. Not clearing. There's no way he can stop and clear an intersection. I thought the guy got away right here. 
There's been a couple times I've been in pursuit and lost a guy for a minute or two, and then all of a sudden he pops back up. Passing Izzard Street. Look at the speeds of this guy through this neighborhood. A kid, a kid on a bicycle, no problem. Looks like we're going to be going south on that. Okay, so the reason this guy, this car, went through the intersection, pulled into this lot, he had brake fade. See it all the time. He wanted to turn here, and he couldn't stop. So he passed through, and he has to make a U-turn to come back. Looks like we're going to be going south on MLK. Then when he sees the cop, tries to avoid him. Oh, Jesus. Maybe he's spraying. I'm trying to catch back up. So this guy is driving a little bit like a maniac, swerving back and forth. Look, the guy knows he's going to prison. He's probably already dumped his dope or guns, thrown it out on the streets. More public hazard because the cops are driving like maniacs trying to catch him. But it gets better when they catch him. So when a cop is this close, his dash can can't see in front of him. The cop can't see in front of him. He doesn't know if there's a kid on a bike on a sidewalk. He doesn't know it. This is so the definition of reckless endangerment or total abandonment of any type of safe operating action. This cop just pushes and rams him the hell with any innocent person in front of him. Who cares? We're in a neighborhood, at an intersection, an elderly person in a walker. Uh, who cares? I'm telling you, our cops are so out of control. So this car right here, car could have rolled in, killed this entire family. No problem. Police have immunity. They're there to save you. Don't worry about it. These people die. It's okay. Supreme Court said cops can kill the hostage. No problem. Cops are running into each other trying to... Who's in more of a danger? All the cops. So you have a dangerous guy being dangerous and you multiply that by usually 10 or 15 cops trying to get in a pursuit. Who is more of... How can anybody justify this as these guys give a shit about innocent people? Oh, I didn't even notice this. He's jamming him on a hill. Doesn't matter. He gonna ram his ass blind at an intersection in a, in a neighborhood at a hill to where nobody can see. Truck uprighted. So, I'm still trying to figure out this officer's pronouns. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a man bun. Uh, her voice sounds high, but I can't tell. Jesus. Arkansas State Police. They got standards. Get out the door! So, all these cops are going to yell at him for endangering the public. Although they all drove. Remember, worse than him. I can't catch a speeder unless I go faster than he does. Okay? A little physics there. So how much money, how many cars are damaged? We've had two or three police cars damaged. My legs are broke. 
Now, this is where I'm going to piss off the little blue line pussies that are going to come here and cry because I'm picking on them. I get it. You're jacked up after pursuit. It happens. Somebody has to be the voice of reason and says the guy is handcuffed. He is no longer a threat and he has broken legs. Our job is not to create pain and torture and drag him around because we're upset. Actually, we're happy that we get the guy to drive crazy because it's a choice. Remember, police have no duty to act. The cops, 77 kids trapped, killed, murdered. 77 cops standing outside the hallway. Nobody entered because they were all pussies in Uvalde, Texas. And the court said, no problem. They have immunity when they do something stupid and they endanger or kill innocent people. We'll protect them. And if they do nothing, we'll protect them. So cops make a choice to chase pursuit, risk their lives, and risk other people's lives with no chance of accountability. And you wonder why you have this behavior of a guy with broken legs who is handcuffed, who is no threat, and is in their custody. I'm always hearing people, man, cops, when he's in his custody, they're responsible for his safety. Yeah, they are dragging this guy around with broken legs and shoving him in the back of a car. Get up! My leg is broke! Get up! You put a lot of fucking people at risk doing that stupid shit. You put a 14 cops driving like maniacs, hitting them in the middle of a, 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 a neighborhood. No vision on what damage they were going to do. And he put the people at risk. Wow. Four fucking times, you motherfucker. Hey, did anybody get hurt? Four times. Fuck you. Shut up. Hey, hey. Shut up. Hey, 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 wow. These state police, man. Every state just hires the best because they're all so professional. Uh, you stupid ass. Ain't nobody get hurt. I got, I got it. This is what you get when you get professional, professional ticket riders that do nothing but harass little old ladies when they finally get to do something that's law enforcement related and actually take somebody into custody, they act like freaking idiots. Hey, you're gonna get in the car. You're gonna get in the car. Get your ass up. Get up. Fine, we'll drag his ass in. I want you to notice that the two police, real police and blue, who do this every day, they don't need to show how tough they are and they're not yelling and they're not telling them shut up and respect my authority and I am the state police, I am God, you pesky. So notice they're kind of like, dude, he's in custody, relax. Notice the professional state police are the ones acting like idiots. Hey, you're gonna get in the car. You're gonna get in the car. Get your ass up. Get up. The big ticket riders. Wow, they're tough. Man, they wrote a lot of tickets. Wow. Broken legs. This is a medical issue. He's in handcuffs. These guys are like, you guys are a bunch of freaking idiots. Every highway patrol in the United States is a bunch of ticket writing idiots. I've yet to met one to where they're decent, good people. They drive around and ruin people's lives over bullshit tickets claiming they keep you safe and they have power and they act like idiots. Oh look, another female officer just shows up to walk around. Shocking. That's your fault. 
Where are all these state police when they're not doing this? Oh, I know. They're keeping you safe. Broken legs. Shoving. Put your fucking legs in. Broken legs. Put your fucking legs in. Wow, those guys are good. Arkansas. State police. Join the team. Be one of us. The proud. The few. The Arkansas State Police idiots. Well, then, that there, Ernie Hate. 